Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of Vinny's Vittles. We're going to be making a great springtime dessert, and sometimes you might even serve it as a side item. It's a, a pretzel jello salad. It's one of my favorites. My mom used to make it uh, all the time, and I used to really love to eat it, so that's one that we're going to share with you this week. I think you'll really enjoy it. Um, it's got strawberries and pretzels and cream cheese and Cool Whip. You just can't go wrong with that. So it's going to be a delicious treat, and I know you're going to enjoy it. So we'll get into how we do it here in just a second. All right, the ingredients that we need today are some melted butter, some sugar, some crushed pretzels, uh, some strawberries, a couple of packs of strawberry jello, and some uh, Philadelphia cream cheese. Now, of course, you can find the exact measurements and the things that you need in the description box below, but that's all you need to put this together, so let's get started. All right, so the first step is going to be to uh, get our crust started. So we're gonna take the pretzels, and the butter. I'm just going to add that together. Then we're going to use three tablespoons of the sugar. One, two, a three. All right, so now we're going to mix these together. Wow, that smells good. <laughs> I love sweet and salt mixed together anyway, so. Can you smell it? Mm -hmm. You love it because it's pretzels. <laughs> I love pretzels. You know, what can go wrong with pretzels and sugar and butter, right? For real. I'm surprised you haven't done a pretzels, Vinny's Vittle. You mix them sometimes. You do some of that sometimes, too. Yeah, I add them in sometimes to my stuff. All right, now you're just going to mix this together till it's well coated, so you want to try to get butter everywhere if you can. Uh, I just keep stirring it and blending it together till we feel like it's, uh, you know, at least semi-touched everything. All right, once we get it mixed together, then we're going to put it in a 9 by 13 pan, and we're going to press it out like a crust, okay? Now you're going to want to preheat your oven to 350, and once you get this pressed out, you're going to bake it in the oven for about 10 minutes on 350. All right, now once you get this in here, again, you're going to bake it on 350 for about 10 minutes. And then you're going to take it out of the oven, and it has to completely cool before you add the other ingredients to it. I got that pretty good, I think. So in the oven it goes for 10 minutes on 350. Okay guys, while the pretzel crust is uh, cooling, we're gonna go ahead and blend together, uh, or mix together, our cream cheese and sugar. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add the sugar. Then we're gonna take our mixer, a little hand mixer, and we're gonna blend it, blend it together. All right, now we're gonna start adding the Cool Whip. And again, we're gonna add a little bit at a time, and we'll blend that together. We'll come back and add a little bit more. And by the way, I forgot to mention that you're going to need a large tub of Cool Whip in this recipe as well, since I didn't mention it. But now that you've seen us mix it, you know it goes. Hey guys, it looks like we've got everything blended together nicely. All right, so now what we want to do, there's our pretzel crust. And it's been out of the oven now for about 15 minutes or so cooling, all right? So now we're gonna go ahead and add the Cool Whip and spread it evenly over the pretzels. Almost dropped the bowl right in the middle of it. <laughs> All right, that's most of that out. That tastes good too if you want to clean it off your fingers. Not that I would do that. Use my hands or anything. Right, Mama? Yeah, we just heard you lick it off your finger. <laughs> Did you hear me suck it off my finger? <laughs> 
Well, we use our fingers in the south. <laughs> if they've watched any of your videos, they know that. I think my favorite where you use your fingers was buffalo chicken. <laughs> yeah, you just didn't understand that, did you? Oh my gosh. Girls just don't cook like that. I guess, I don't know, I'm not going to say that. It, if I'm cooking for my family, I don't mind doing it. But if I'm making a potluck, I'm not going to have my fingers all in everything. Which you're not either if you're making a potluck. Let's be fair. Well. <laughs> you're not. Okay, 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 I'm not. <laughs> That's it. You can no longer make potluck for anybody. Well, the people at our church that watch Vinny's Vittles are, are probably going, going, I ain't eating nothing that boy brings no more. <laughs> that looks good. I just want to eat that. Needs one more layer. All right, that's set there. All right, so the next step, we're going to set this to the side, and we're going to start our jello. Okay, guys, so we got our water boiling. We're going to add the jello uh, jell mixture. And we're going to stir that together until it dissolves. back and add the second one. So you're just going to stir this together till it dissolves. You guys know how to make jello. Uh, just till it dissolves good. And then once it has dissolved, uh, you'll add it to the strawberries. Now those strawberries are frozen strawberries and they had a lot of juice on them so we strained them just a little bit. Alright, now we're going to take our melted jello mix and pour it in with our strawberries and just blend that together man all right so now we got those blended so we're going to put these in the refrigerator and let them chill now you need it to just slightly chill because you don't want it to harden up all the way but you want it just to thicken up enough that you can pour it on without it getting all uh, messy so you just want to let it chill for a few minutes let it thicken just a little bit. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We've had this chilling. It's thickened up just a little bit. We're going to add it right to the top. And we're going to kind of spread the strawberries around just a touch. All right, then you're going to put it in the refrigerator and you're going to let it chill till that jello finishes setting up. And then it'll be ready to serve. You want to keep it refrigerated until you are ready to serve it. But that's what it looks like. So we're going to put it in the refrigerator and let it set up or finish setting up. Okay, guys, we just came out of the refrigerator. It's nice and congealed already. The jello is set up good. We've already sliced a piece of it for me to try, and I just can't wait. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. You will love that, I promise. It's delicious. Be sure to uh, like the video, subscribe to the videos, share with all your friends and family, and let them know about Vinny's Vittles, and we'll see you next week.